This new feature of Ableton Live 12 has got to be one of the best things that Ableton had ever produced. In particular, I love Chop. Check this out. So we've got a single note that covers the span of the entire clip. So what Chop does is it will chop it up into equal parts. So if you select four here, it'll take the time of the note and chop it up into four parts. Let's just have a look. As you can see, it does that and it can chop it up into however many parts you like. So in this case, we're just gonna select 32 and transform, click on auto so it does it automatically. Okay, and then you can do other stuff like you can, for example, select gaps. So if you select a gap of one, after the first note, there'll be a gap. And then after the next note, there'll be a gap. And if we select a gap of two, there'll be a gap after the second note, etc. And you can actually see that represented here. You can see two notes, gap, two notes, gap. But if you don't like that, say you want to change that and have a gap after the first note, but then the rest will be after two notes, you can just do that. And if I want to stretch the length of that first note, what we can do is select that and therefore the length is stretched. We can select four, for example, and it will stretch that first note four, but then it will shift everything across like that. The other thing you could do is some timing variations, which are random. So let's try that as we increase the variations. And the reason for that is sometimes you don't want it to be perfectly quantized. You want a little bit of variation and that could help. So what I'm going to do now is going to bring them back to 16 notes like that. But I'm going to select one note in particular. I'm going to select this one here and then break that down into fours like that. So you can see that within notes, you can do more chopping and you can do chopping and chopping and chopping. So let's just take another listen. And for example, if we one, we can select this note here and chop that up into eight parts. So you can imagine the amount of possibilities. So another thing you could do is you can select another MIDI transformation and that is called time warp. So what you can do with this is you can take the notes that you chopped a bit earlier like that and then you can time warp them. So let's just do that. And we can control the size and the amount of that riser. We'll bring a beat in just to see how that could sound. I mean, that is super cool. I love these MIDI transformation tools. What do you guys think?